Albanians are defined as an ethnic group native to Albania and neighboring countries. The term is also used sometimes to refer to the citizens of the Republic of Albania regardless of ethnicity. Ethnic Albanians speak the Albanian language and more than half of ethnic Albanians live in Albania and Kosovo. The Albanian diaspora also exists in a number of other countries, notable examples are the Arvanites and Arboresha, both which were influential in their respective countries and produced many prominent figures. Ethnonym. The ethnonym Albanians is believed to be derived from Albanoi, an Illyrian tribe mentioned by Ptolemy in the city of Albanopolis. While the exonym Albania for the general region inhabited by the Albanians does hark back to classical antiquity, the Albanian language employs a different ethnonym, with modern Albanians referring to themselves as Shki Peter and to their country as Shki Peria. Two etymologies have been conjectured for this ethnonym. One, associated with Maximilian Lamberts, derives the etymology from the Albanian for eagle, perhaps denoting denizens of a mountainous region. In Albanian folk etymology, this word denotes a bird totem dating from the times of Skanderbeg as displayed on the Albanian flag. The other suggestion connects it to the verb to speak. If the latter conjecture were correct, the Albanian endonym, like Slav and others, would originally have been a term for those who speak intelligibly the same language. In history written in 1079 to 1080, the Byzantine historian Michael Italiates referred to the Albanoi as having taken part in a revolt against Constantinople in 1043 and to the Arbanitae as subjects of the Duke of Dirachium. It is disputed, however, whether that refers to Albanians in an ethnic sense. However a later reference to Albanians from the same Italiates, regarding the participation of Albanians in a rebellion around 1078, is undisputed. In later Byzantine usage, the terms Arbanitai and Albanoi, with a range of variants, were used interchangeably. While sometimes the same groups were also called by the classicizing name Illyrians, the first reference to the Albanian language dates to the later 13th century. The Albanians are and have been referred to by other terms as well. Some of them are Arba, Arbin, Arboresha, and Arbinj, the old native term denoting ancient and medieval Albanians and sharing the same root with the latter. At the time the country was called Arba and Arberia by Albanians. This term is still used for the Albanians that migrated to Italy during the Middle Ages, the Arboresha. Within the Balkans, Vlach still use a similar term Arbines in the Aromanian language for contemporary Albanians. Arbanas, I, old term used by Balkan Slavic peoples such as the Bulgarians in Serbians to refer to Albanians. The term Arbanas was also used by Romanians for Albanians. Arvanitis is a term that was historically used to describe an Albanian speaker regardless of their religious affiliations amongst the wider Greek-speaking population until the interwar period. Today, the term Arvanites is used by Greeks to refer to descendants of Albanians or Arboresha that migrated to southern Greece during the medieval era and who currently self-identify as Greeks. In Epirus today, the term Arvanitis is still used for an Albanian speaker regardless of their citizenship and religion. Arnaf per second, old term used mainly from Turks and by extension by some European authors during the Ottoman Empire, a derivative of the Turkish Arvanid, which derives from the Greek term Arvanites. Shkitar and Shkapter is the contemporary endonym used by Albanians for themselves while Shkipiria and Shkipnia, Shkipnia are native toponyms used by Albanians to name their country with all terms sharing the same root. At the end of 17th and beginning of the early 18th centuries, the place name Shkipiria and the ethnic demon of Shkipter gradually replaced Arberia, Arbenia and Arboresh, Arbanesh amongst Albanian speakers. 
This was due to socio-political, cultural, economic and religious complexities that Albanians experienced during the Ottoman era. Skip Tarp a second is a historical rendering or exonym of the term Shkita by some French, Austrian, English and German authors in use from the 18th century to the present. The term Sipteri is a derivation used by Balkan Slavic peoples and former states like Yugoslavia which Albanians consider derogatory due to its negative connotations thereby preferring Alban C instead. History Studies in genetic anthropology show that the Albanians share the same ancestry as most other European peoples. Albanians in the Middle Ages What is possibly the earliest written reference to the Albanians is that to be found in an old Bulgarian text compiled around the beginning of the 11th century. It was discovered in a Serbian manuscript dated 1628 and was first published in 1934 by Radoslav Grujic. This fragment of a legend from the time of Tsar Samuel endeavors, in a catechismal question and answer form, to explain the origins of peoples and languages. It divides the world into 72 languages and three religious categories, orthodox, half-believers and non-believers. The Albanians find their place among the nations of half-believers. If the dating of Grujic is accepted, which is based primarily upon the contents of the text as a whole, this would be the earliest written document referring to the Albanians as a people or language group. It can be seen that there are various languages on earth. Of them, there are five orthodox languages. Bulgarian, Greek, Syrian, Iberian and Russian. Three of these have orthodox alphabets. Greek, Bulgarian and Iberian. There are 12 languages of half-believers. Alamanians, Franks, Magyars, Indians, Jacobites, Armenians, Saxons, Lex, Arbanese, Croatians, Hizi, Germans. The first undisputed mention of Albanians in the historical record is attested in Byzantine source for the first time in 1079 to 1080. In a work titled History by Byzantine historian Michael Italiates, who referred to the Albanoi as having taken part in a revolt against Constantinople in 1043 and to the Arbanitae as subjects of the Duke of Dyrrhachium. It is disputed, however, whether the Albanoi of the events of 1043 refers to Albanians in an ethnic sense or whether Albanoi is a reference to Normans from Sicily under an archaic name. At this point, they are already fully Christianized, although Albanian mythology and folklore are part of the Paleo-Balkan pagan mythology, in particular showing Greek influence. From late 11th century the Albanians were called Arbin, Arba and their country is Arbanan, a mountainous area to the west of Lake Okrida and the upper valley of the river Shkombine. It was in 1190 when the rulers of Arbanan created their principality with its capital at Cruj. After the fall of Prokhan dynasty in 1216, the principality came under Grigor Komona and Gulam of Albania. Finally the principality was dissolved on 1255. Around 1230 the two main centers of Albanian settlements, one around Devil River in what is now central Albania, and the other are around the region region which was known with the name Arbanan. In 1271 Charles of Anja created the Kingdom of Albania after he captured a part of the despotate of Epirus. In the 14th century a number of Albanian principalities were created. Location of Arbanan in the 11th century According to Duchalia the castle of Petrolor was the access point of the region known with this name. Population movements 14th century Albanians under the Ottoman Empire at the dawn of the establishment of the Ottoman Empire in southeast Europe. The geopolitical landscape was marked by scattered kingdoms of small principalities. 
The Ottomans erected the garrisons throughout southern Albania by 1415 and established formal jurisdiction over most of Albania by 1431. However, on 1443 a great and long-standing revolt broke under the lead of the Albanian national hero Skanderberg, which lasted until 1479, many times defeating major Ottoman armies led by Sultans Murad II and Mehmed II. Skanderberg united initially the Albanian princes and later established a centralized authority over most of the non-conquered territories, becoming Lord of Albania. He also tried relentlessly but rather unsuccessfully to create a European coalition against the Ottomans. He frustrated every attempt by the Turks to regain Albania, which they envisioned as a springboard for the invasion of Italy and Western Europe. His unequal fight against the mightiest power of the time won the esteem of Europe as well as some support in the form of money and military aid from Naples, the Papacy, Venice, and Ragusa. Finally, after decades of resistance, Ottomans captured Shkoda in 1479 and Duras in 1501. Skanderbeg's long struggle to keep Albania free became highly significant to the Albanian people, as it strengthened their solidarity, made them more conscious of their national identity, and served later as a great source of inspiration in their struggle for national unity, freedom, and independence. The invasion triggered a several waves of migration of Albanians from Albania, Epir and Pipanessa to the south of Italy, constituting an Arboresha community. Albanians were recruited all over Europe as a light cavalry known as Stratiata. The Stratiata were pioneers of light cavalry tactics during this era. In the early 16th century heavy cavalry in the European armies was principally remodeled after Albanian Stradioti of the Venetian army, Hungarian Hussars and German mercenary cavalry units. By the 16th century, Ottoman rule over southeast Europe was largely secure. The Ottomans proceeded in stages, first appointing a QADI along with governors and then military retainers in the cities. Tima holders, not necessarily converts to Islam, would occasionally rebel, the most famous case of which is Skanderberg. His figure would be used later in the 19th century as a central component of Albanian national identity. Ottoman control over the Albanian territories was secured in 1571 when Ulsinj, presently in Montenegro, was captured. The most significant impact on the Albanians was the gradual Islamization process of a large majority of the population although such a process only became widespread in the 17th century. Mainly Catholics converted in the 17th century, while the Orthodox Albanians became Muslim mainly in the following century. Initially confined to the main city centers of Elbasan and Shkoda, by this time the countryside was also embracing the new religion. In Elbasan Muslims made up just over half the population in 1569-70 whereas in Shkoda this was almost 90% and in Barat closer to 60%. In the 17th century, however, Catholic conversion to Islam increased, even in the countryside. The motives for conversion according to scholars were diverse, depending on the context. The lack of source material does not help when investigating such issues. Albanians could also be found across the empire, in Egypt, Algeria, and across the Maghreb as vital military and administrative retainers. Albanian national awakening by the 1870s, the sublime port's reforms aimed at checking the Ottoman Empire's disintegration had clearly failed. The image of the Turkish yoke had become fixed in the nationalist mythologies and psyches of the empire's Balkan peoples, and the march toward independence quickened. The Albanians, because of the higher degree of Islamic influence, their internal social divisions, and the fear that they would lose their Albanian populated lands to the emerging Balkan states, Serbia, Montenegro, Bulgaria, and Greece, were the last of the Balkan peoples to desire division from the Ottoman Empire. 
The Albanian National Awakening as a coherent political movement began after the Treaty of San Stefano, according to which Albanian inhabited areas were to be ceded to other states of the Balkans, and focused on preventing that partition. The Treaty of San Stefano was the impetus for the nation-building movement, which was based more on fear of partition and national identity. Even after Albania became independent in 1912, Albanian national identity was fragmented and possible non-existent in much of the new country. The state of disunity and fragmentation would remain until the communist period following World War II, when the communist nation-building project would achieve greater success in nation-building and reach more people than any previous regime, thus creating Albanian national communist identity. Distribution. Southeast Europe Approximately 7 million Albanians are to be found within the Balkan Peninsula with about half this number residing in Albania and the other divided between Kosovo, Montenegro, Serbia, the Republic of Macedonia, Greece and to a much smaller extent Bosnia, Bulgaria, Croatia, Romania and Slovenia. Albania Albania has an estimated 3 million inhabitants, with ethnic Albanians comprised rising approximately 95% of the total. Former Yugoslavia An estimated 2.2 million Albanians live in the territory of former Yugoslavia, the greater part in Kosovo. Rights to use the Albanian language and education and government were given and guaranteed by the 1974 Constitution of SFRY and were widely utilized in Macedonia and in Montenegro before the dissolution of Yugoslavia. Greece an estimated 275,000 minus 600,000 Albanians live in Greece, forming the largest immigrant community in the country. They are economic migrants whose migration began in 1991, following the collapse of the Socialist People's Republic of Albania. The Arvanites and Albanian speakers of Western Thrace are a group descended from Tosks who migrated to southern and central Greece between the 13th and 16th centuries. They are Greek Orthodox Christians, and though they traditionally speak a dialect of Tosk Albanian known as Arvanitica, they have fully assimilated into the Greek nation and do not identify as Albanians. Arvanitica is in a state of attrition due to language shift towards Greek and large-scale internal migration to the cities and subsequent intermingling of the population during the 20th century. The Cham Albanians were a group that formerly inhabited a region of Epirus known as Chamiria, nowadays Thesprotia in northwestern Greece. Most Cham Albanians converted to Islam during the Ottoman era. Muslim Chams were expelled from Greece during World War II by an anti-communist resistance group. As a result of their participation in a communist resistance group and the collaboration with the Axis occupation, while Orthodox Chams have largely assimilated into the Greek nation, Diaspora Europe approximately one million are dispersed throughout the rest of Europe, most of these in Italy, Germany, Switzerland, Sweden, and the UK. Italy has a historical Albanian minority known as the Arboresho which are scattered across southern Italy. But the majority of Albanians in Italy arrived in 1991 and have since surpassed the older populations of Arboresha, Turkey according to a 2008 report prepared for the National Security Council of Turkey by academics of three Turkish universities in eastern Anatolia. There were approximately 1,300,000 people of Albanian descent living in Turkey. According to that study, more than 500,000 Albanian descendants still recognize their ancestry and all their language, culture and traditions. There are also other estimates regarding the Albanian population in Turkey that range from being 3 to 4 million people up to a total of 5 million in number. Although most of these are Turkish citizens of partial Albanian ancestry and no longer fluent in Albanian. This was due to various degrees of either linguistic and or cultural assimilation occurring amongst the Albanian diaspora in Turkey. Nonetheless, a sizable proportion of the Albanian community in Turkey, such as that of Istanbul, has maintained its distinct Albanian identity. 
Albanians are active in the civic life of Turkey. For example, after the Turks and Kurds, Albanians are the third most represented ethnic group of parliamentarians in the Turkish parliament, though belonging to different political parties. State relations of Albania and Kosovo with Turkey are friendly and close, due in part to the Albanian population of Turkey maintaining close links with Albanians of the Balkans. Egypt In Egypt there are 18,000 Albanians, mostly Tosk speakers. Many are descendants of the Janissary of Muhammad Ali Pasha, an Albanian who became Wali, and self-declared Khedive of Egypt and Sudan. In addition to the dynasty that he established, a large part of the former Egyptian and Sudanese aristocracy was of Albanian origin. Albanian Sunnis, Bektashis and Orthodox Christians were all represented in this diaspora, whose members at some point included major Renaissance figures, including Fan Noli who lived in Egypt for a time. With the ascension of Gamal Abdel Nasser in Egypt and his ideology of Arab nationalism, the last remnants of Albanian community there were forced to leave. Overseas according to the 2010 American Community Survey, there are 193,813 Albanian Americans. In Australia and New Zealand there are a total of 22,000 Albanians. Albanians are also known to reside in China, India, Iran, Japan, Korea, Malaysia, Pakistan and Singapore, but the numbers are generally small. Albanians have been present in Arab countries such as Iraq, Jordan, Lebanon and Syria for about five centuries as a legacy of Ottoman Turkish rule. Language the Albanian language forms a separate branch of the Indo-European languages family tree, a traditional view, based mainly on the territory where the languages were spoken, links the origin of Albanian with Illyrian. Not enough Illyrian archaeological evidence is left behind however, to come to a definite conclusion. Another theory links the Albanian as originating from the Thracian language. However this theory takes exception to the territory, since the Thracian language was spoken in an area distinct from Albania, and no significant population movements have been recorded in the period when the shift from one language to the other is supposed to have occurred. Albanian in a revised form of the Tosk dialect is the official language of Albania and Kosovo, and is official in the municipalities where there are more than 20% ethnic Albanian inhabitants in the Republic of Macedonia. It is also an official language of Montenegro where it is spoken in the municipalities with ethnic Albanian populations.